Hi everybody, it's Sherry with Blessed Baubles. I'm so glad you're back. I'm about to open the third bag of the 38 plus pounds shopgoodwill.com box of jewelry. So let's get started. I think I'm going to turn this beast around this way because it looks like this is the way they taped it. I wanted you guys to know, I had someone ask me a question in the comments about why didn't I organize all the jewelry before I make the video? And I just assumed everyone knew that some YouTubers don't want to open anything until they're videotaping. Because we want you to know exactly what's in the box. And yeah, so that's what I do. I That's why you see me open the box with you and open the bags with you. So I did message them back and explain that to them, and I thought, wow, I should let everyone know that's watching that that's what I do as well. So you get to see everything just as it's happening, um, and you get to see everything that comes in these bags or boxes, because I haven't opened them yet until I'm with you. Oh my gosh, look at all those colors. Wow. Tons of colors. Okay, let's push this back a little. So our camera will focus on what I'm doing. Let's get started. But before we do, I'm so tech savvy. You guys are going to be proud of me. Look at, just kidding. I still have my subscribe sign. I hope you think it's cute because I haven't yet learned how to add it digitally. So please remember to subscribe and hit the bell so that you'll be notified of any new videos that I put out. And don't forget to have fun. Also, my email is capecodebaygirl at gmail.com. If you see anything you like, please email me and include four things with your email. First thing would be the full name of the video, including if it's a part one, two, or whatever. Then you would include description of the pieces that you want. It doesn't have to be in that exact order, but then I need the timestamps. That's very important. And I also need the prices that were given. If you give me that in an email, then I can go right to the video, pull up the piece that you're talking about. I'll know exactly where I have stored it, because that's part of why I need the information as well. And I'll be able to message you right back with whether it's available. So I hope that information helps. I know it helps me a great deal, and some of you have just been great about that. Okay, why is this all stuck together? That's why I don't get so organized and have everything ready, because this is like live TV, folks. <laughs> Not really live, but you know what I'm saying. You're getting to see just what I would do if you weren't here. And I'm really glad you are. Okay, come on out of there, buddy. Let's see, we've got very different looking things here, don't we? We have another scary piece. <laughs> I call it a scary piece. It looks like a double strand. It's on a cord and a chain. And it looks to be brass. Oh, that looks like a nice coin of some kind. So the chain, I don't think it's worn. I think it's supposed to look like that. The cording it still looks very good. It's not very worn. So we have this piece, if someone likes that. And I have a couple other pieces like that too. I think some rings and things. So we'll do this for two bucks. Wow, bangly bangles. Oh, I like it when they're all hooked together with the tag. Okay, with love from California, it says. And looks like they're, you know, lightweight. Might be fun for some beads, for some craft. So I'll say a dollar on the bangles. Oh, that's pretty. This is enamel. It's kind of like a terracotta color. And the beads are more of a melon color. And then look at the terracotta and gold beads. That's pretty. It's on lobster claw clasp. Little bit of wear. It's over copper. And it's just a really cute piece. Wow. I'm assuming it's older. But you never know. Some people are getting so good at making things out of other things and making things look vintage. But this 
we will say, let me see if these are glass beads. Oh yeah, definitely glass beads. Love those glass beads. And this feels like um, acrylic. So these are acrylic. And we'll do this for $4. That's sweet. All right, another with love from California. We love you too, California. We love all your pretty beads. And we'll do this for, what was the other one? $2? Yeah, sure, why not? This I saw and I said, ooh la la, that's a pretty color. But it's going to go, you know where it's going to go. Wait for its mate. Wait for your mate. Wait for your mate. You know you got to wait for your mate. So it's going on our board, our styrofoam board with our other guys. If you remember from the last video, we have, I put some tape up here, I forgot. We have this gorgeous sterling silver set. That's a pendant, that's an earring. We're waiting for the other earring. So say your prayers. We're waiting for the other earring for this to go with the necklace. This is a set and that is stunning. So when you see me go away and you hear like a little sound, that's me putting the earrings on the board. Oh. He waited for his mate, and there it is. So we have a green pair of earrings. Might as well check them out right now. Hi, Miss Prissy. How are you? Hmm. I think they're acrylic, and they're meant to look like... Um, gosh, I'm going to embarrass myself for getting the name of the stone, the green stone. They're meant to look like that, yes. I do know the name of the stone, I just can't think of it. Okay. We have got a velvet, probably, choker. This looks brand spanky new. It's like a charcoal color, a little bit of a cat's eye with a stone up there. And yes, I don't think it's ever been worn choker style, and we'll do that for $2. How's my light, guys? Is it good? I have my LEDs on, I have every light that I have on, so hopefully, and my door is open. This is a bangle that, I don't know, it's very different. It's not your usual shape of rhinestones. Let me have a closer look and see if they're prong set. Wow, they are all prong set. So this is a bit older and I thought, oh no, there's verdigris, but it's actually a little piece of fuzz. We have a vintage prong set bracelet. They have purple and I want to say citrine color stones. So I'm going to ask Miss Prissy to tell us if this is anything. They are glass. So yeah, I think an amethyst and citrine looking bracelet that is all prong set. And I'm going to say $6 for that. It's a nice one. Another bangly. I think these are prong set too. And they're very emerald green. Let me have a close look. Yes, they're all prong set. Nicely prong set too. They're not the kind that they just bend over. They're the kind that are actually on there, you know, the prongs that are wrapped around the stone are very real. So let me spin it around and look inside for any marks. Not seeing any. And I see that seam there too, which tells me that's not a very high quality sign, but the prong set is. Let's see if they're testing as glass. They are all glass, so hmm. Not sure, I guess it's just an older bracelet because I'm not sure they're really prong setting that much anymore. So we'll do that one for $3. Ooh, a nice big earring and it's a clip-on. Wait for your mate. <laughs> I won't do it every time and make you crazy. I don't want to make you crazy. Oh, wow. Look at this, this is beautiful. I love the glass. It's all full of rhinestones. What a cutie baby. I don't see any marks, I think it's over copper. 
sterling over copper or silver over copper. The pearls feel nice. They are tied in between. There's always so much to talk about pearls. They're a darker color, but I see some stuff here. Either that's stuff or it's peeling. Let's do our first test where we rub them together. Hmm. They're rubbing together and they're rubbing the stuff right off. So, oh, sad little baby. Look how beautiful you are and how much you did. You served everyone so well all those years. So gorgeous. And now your little peeling is starting to happen. Oh. Well, some people take all the peeling off the pearls and they have a glass beaded necklace. It looks gorgeous. So I think I'm going to start a new craft jar and put this poor little baby in the jewelry hospital. Thank you, and go to your jewelry hospital for the crafters who are gonna do something marvelous with you. So, we got that started. Okay, what do we have here? This is very lightweight. Um, yeah, it's got some rhinestones and ribbons, and it's just not in great shape. I'm not sure if I want it to take up the volume of the craft jar, so I think I'll just put it aside for now. Another bracelet that's probably prong set like the others. It is. This is so wild. They've got to be older bracelets, so we'll say $2 on this one, too. This is clear rhinestones, as far as I can tell. Yeah, clear. Oh, but guys, look at them all together. Maybe that's what they're, how they're supposed to be worn. So if you want them all together, I'll do five for all three. I think they look better together. And then before I speak too soon, oh, there's going to be more. There's three more here. Hmm. All right, let's stick to five for these three and five for these three. And we'll see what happens as we open this bag. Because I can't wait to get to this. Look at this. Look at the stones. They're gorgeous. They feel cold. The colors in here are awesome. So I'll show you nice and close. Isn't that pretty? Ooh, ooh, ooh. My heart is going... The thump, the thump. Pretty stones. And I believe whenever I see this this kind of an elastic, that that's the older um, stretch bracelet. Unless someone uses the older style, when I see that, I think it's an older bracelet. So that's what I'm sticking to. Let's see. I can find out a little bit about the stones. Hmm. So they're registering in the middle of the tourmaline and garnet area. We'll need some of our gemologists to tell us what they think about this. I was expecting it to test right in the quartz amethyst citrine, which it is almost there. I think it depends on the bead. All right, we'll do I'm not even in the camera, I'm sorry. I'm gonna turn this down so that we're more, yeah, okay. I'll get you in here. All right, sorry guys. I get so busy sometimes I forget. So I'm gonna test this bead. And it's round, so it's really tough. Um, yeah, it's not quite going to quartz. I'll test this one. And that's going in the middle of chrysophrase, emerald, and nephrite. The round ball, again, is going there. So you guys out there that know about gems, you're going to know exactly what it is. And probably so helpful to tell us. I'll zoom back out. 
It is a little bit small, but let's see. Looks cute. I like the stones. Someone may love to craft with it, make something new. I'm going to say $8 because the stones are gorgeous. Really beautiful. Um, I also got another bracelet. I'm in love with these ball bead bracelets. I saw one. It was a great price, so I took it. And what do you think? Which one should I take off? Because I need to take something off now. We've got... I started with this ball bead I got from a Goodwill box. Then the next time I got one was this, and it was on a video I did. And I thought, that's great. Nice, bigger ball bead. Then I saw this, and I couldn't resist, so I got this. I'm not sure. Maybe I'll take this one off. Let's see. If I wear this one and the pearls. I don't know. What do you think? Which one should I wear and which one should I take off? We've got small, medium, and large on the ball bead. We've got this one I wanted to start charms on. And we've got this pearl one that was in one of these boxes that I opened with you guys on the video. So just thought I'd ask. Oh, and I'm wearing my pearl, my sterling silver and real pearl ring today in good old Papa color. And I forgot to tell you guys about this. Is that fantastic? Abalone ring, sterling silver. It is a bit vintage. At first I thought it was kind of masculine, but then when I put it on and I saw how the abalone flows from one part to the other, <gasps> I just couldn't, I couldn't. I had to wear it. It's so beautiful. So I've been wearing it next to my carnelian silver and my other good old dude so sorry but that's my jewelry show for the day okay did you guys sign up for the giveaway did you watch the last video there was a giveaway and i want to have you sign up for that and i can't wait to send you all those goodies we have more of these prong set bracelets this is silver tone with rhinestones on it and nice texture. Mm, let's see, what am I going to do with these? This is a little bit thinner, has green and some clearer rhinestones on the outside, but let me see. Oh, you know what? Those aren't rhinestones on the out. They aren't rhinestones at all. These are glass beads in the middle, and this is like a foil strip. So, I'm not sure about that one. This is like a gold tone with a bunch of nice rhinestones on it. Mm, I'm going to put those aside and try to do something like a bulk of them. Because it looks like they threw all their bracelets in. So we've got another dollar pack of bangles. I don't know if I said two dollars or one, but it doesn't matter to me. Let's go to one dollar for these packs of these. We've got three of them now. And oh, we've got some more stones. Another vintage stretchy. And they're black and white. Getting a good look at them. Wow. Pretty neat. I can't wait till I know more about them. They are a lot of work to learn, though. So these are testing the same place that the others were. Actually, these are testing in garnet tourmaline area. So they're pretty cool. Some of them are milky color. I will say $5 on this. They're much smaller than the other beads. So $5. The stretch is in great shape. Okay, looks like we got a pretty shell necklace coming up. Might be like that coconut shell that's dyed. And let's see, this is probably supposed to go through here. Yep. Nice turquoise colored glass beads. And look, there's a barrel clasp on it. That's pretty cool. That means it's got a little age to it. Or someone just used an older clasp, not sure. So turquoise, black and white beads wrapped around, I think, a dyed coconut shell. That's cute, huh? So we'll say, 
a dollar on that. What have you got for us? We usually don't see these kind of beads in here, so this must be something pretty decent because they don't usually put like the Mardi Gras beads. Oh, nice. Oh my goodness, look at that. It's a three tier, really like Irish green, emerald green, pearl type necklace. There's little tiny gold beads in between. This is pretty. Let's see what it says. Part of it's covered, so I'm not going to be able to read it. Gold, emerald, pearl, three something, which probably means three tier. I'm so nosy. What does it say under there? I'm so nosy. I gotta know. I'm so nosy. I gotta know. I hope the video's coming out louder today. I'm going to try to speak up better. Like I said, I put my mic closer to my face. Hmm. Oh, it's Charter Club. See, it pays to be nosy. It's a Charter Club necklace. Beautiful green. Oh my, that's so pretty. Sherry, look. You had a little hang tag all along. Doi da doi. I like that. I don't know what to say on it. I think, um, you know, that's quite a color. You'd have to really want to wear the green, but wow, would it look great. Let's say six dollars because i could always use that in my vintage stuff if you guys don't buy it Ooh, this i remember seeing this in the vid in the video in the pictures when i was looking at this box to buy and i loved it it looked like a moon glow sort of thing um are they they might be isn't that pretty i mean i just think that's a blast that is so fun you could even wear it as an anklet but I love that. It's like lighting up. There's another one in here, too. It's a little more cherry red. Oh, that's a blast. Oh my gosh, I may have to keep one of them. So fun. And this one's just... Mm. Okay. Alright, I want to keep staring, but I've got to go. I'm going to say the two red stretchies that are... Oh, I'm going to have to put that in my thumbnail. Um, I'm going to do 10 on the both of these. They're just stunning. Okay, let's go. Ooh, glass beads. Stretchy, great condition. All kinds of gem colors. Let's see. Would it test? I'm sure they're glass, but you never know. Glass bead stretchy, colorful, two bucks. This needs a little help on the stretch. And it does have all kinds of stone beads there. So it's got the black beads in the back. These are giving like a sparkle. So that means something. Either they're a certain kind of stone or they just did a good job with the glass. So let me test here. I mean, the stretch isn't that great, so I don't want to spend a lot of time on it, but that's testing in glass. Maybe they're just glass and someone painted them. Could be. Oh, this one is probably a um, carnelian. And of course, we've got the tiger's eye. And this one is, oh, I can't think of it. Um, I'm terrible with that. That's a jade. And this might be, um, you know, those very blue stones. I'm trying to think. I always have to think of Minecraft and my kids playing Minecraft and mining obsidian. That's what I'm trying to say. So we've got this. Got some valuable stones on it. Maybe the black one sparkly means something. Don't know. So I'm going to say $4. Oh, I'm liking this. Except why is that on there? Is it like a lariat thing? Oh my gosh. I was watching a um, Roy Rogers movie. I'm loving his movies. 
And there was a song on there about Harriet. Harriet doesn't want to marry yet. And she's something about her handy with the lariat. It was such a good song. So now when I see lariat, I think of that Harriet song. Okay, these are some nice stones. Oh, maybe it just clips this way as a necklace. By the way, I don't make a big deal if there's something icky in the bag. I just get rid of it and I don't announce it. Just my style. So, do you think it would clip like that? I don't know. I think it is one of those... I just said it a minute ago. One of those things that you clip your ID on. It's really pretty. Glass beads for sure. And these are very beautiful. They are testing a stone. So what do you think? Maybe $8 for that? The chain up here is not bad. We'll see. If you love it, send me an email, girl at gmail.com. And if you think the price should be better, just let me know. Guys, look. The earrings that match. The earrings that go with the Charter Club necklace. In the greeny green. <gasps> All right, if you guys don't buy this, somebody on eBay will because they'll be looking for this color for a wedding or something. And they're all glass. So I'm going to add another five for the earrings to go with the necklace because it's in perfect shape. Oh, I love the beads in this. Okay, what else? That's a clip-on. Oh, how fun. It's so cute. Okay, let me see. You clip it on your ear this way so it goes like this. That is adorable. It is acrylic. Great shape. And he's going to wait for his mate. Wait a minute. This looks similar. Yes, that's it. Oh, my gosh. How fun is that? Wow, let me see if they magnet. The posts don't, but of course the things in between do. So let me have a look-see. See if they might have done the, the clip-on part in sterling. They look very nice. They're very clean. So they're not magneting, but in the time I have right now, I don't see any marks. Oh, they're so fun. I think they'd sell on eBay for about maybe at least 20. But I'm going to say here, if anyone wears clip-ons and thinks those are fun, I'll say 12. We have some more stone. A cute little stone on the end. Looks like I wrote on my hand. Hmm. Okay, it has a gold tone clasp. It's a gray color stone. Not seeing any marks. And you know what I'm going to do. Clip it at the end so that that little tail doesn't get caught and everything. So a stone chip bracelet. And we'll say $2. More stones. Wow, let's just get these out. <gasps> Look at that. Now, what is this going to be? Nephrite? What did Ashara say? She said that when it tests up in that area, they might be nephrite. I'm pretty sure she said that. If not, you can yell at me, Ashara, Cynthia. I don't mind, because you're a gem. Get it, gem. Oh no, guys, what am I going to do with all these stones when I don't know what to tell you that they are? Um, hmm. There's some more. <gasps> Looks nice. They look so nice. Okay, this is another chip bracelet. And they're in yellow color. Let's see if they might be citrine. They are. Okay. Since you're involved in this too, let me bring you in the picture. And zoom in a bit. So these are definitely citrine. Lovely citrine chip bracelet. These, gosh, I'm forgetting what they're called. 
the blue marbly, some of them are green. Stretch is great, it has the older stretch in it. And this one is on the clasp. Stretch is pretty good on this one. It has a darker stretch, which I think is cool when you have the darker beads. This one's all kinds of greens, olive green, and probably a tourmaline. I'm gonna act like I know something. <laughs> So we've got that one. This is a little bit tight on the stretch, but not awful. And these are like a brick red color. All you crafters are like, oh, I know what I can do with that. Now, is that supposed to be? Yes, it is. It's not peeling. Okay, let's see what you say. So that's testing up into amethyst citrine area but let's go to another one or maybe just a quartz you know some kind of a quartz stone now this one sorry guys this one looks I think looks like moonstones mm -hmm. well if nephrite is there and this is testing to there this is actually up into the jade area. So it can't be nephrite because it would test in the chrysophrase emerald nephrite bar right, how can I point to it? Right there. But we are getting a reading up into the jade. So what do you think? Hmm. Like a white jade or like she said, whatever the name of that stone was. This one is a lighter reddish brick color. So we've got all these. I think I'm just gonna sell them together to whoever would like all these stones. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Why don't we do 15? That's like $2 a piece with a little change. Not bad for nice stones. Okay, got that out of the way. White clip-ons. Oh, they're so sweet. Let's get Miss Percy over there. Okay. Oh, that's adorable. Okay, so I always have to think about this. So, yeah, that's how they would look. These are in very good shape. White enamel. There's no chipping. They are fabulous and they're nice and lightweight so they won't bother. The clip is nice. I have to say six on these. Nice vintage pair. We have a sparkly sparkly that's gonna wait for its mate. Earring, clipsons, clipsons. This is a pierced. It is acrylic. Look at the cute top metal part. Isn't that fun? So that's going to wait for its mate. I love the way they pack these bags because the other earring is like right here already. Oh my gosh, look at these older ones with the pink and the, oh my gosh, remember this look? It's so cute. It's got like a fabric on it. I say $2 on these clip-ons. Okay, this is like a dyed coconut shell in a green color. Waiting for his mate. And we have a lace butterfly pin. Let's see if we've got any sterling here. No. It's cute. I'm not sure if these are old or new. I'm going to guess maybe 90s, the 1990s. Looks like something from then. That'd be cute. You could pin that on just about anything and jazz it up a bit. So why don't we... Should we fly him to the craft jar? I mean, it's way better than craft, but I just think it's a sweet thing to add to something, so... We're gonna fly him into the craft jar. This looks like, it is a bracelet, okay. 
So we have some discs and some beads and a barrel clasp that is brass. Put that to the side for a minute, see what happens with these. Oh wow, this is really cool. Look at this necklace. Oh, it's got a name. I love you for having a name. S-Y-L-C-A. All right, and it has a slide closure, but look at this. Isn't that so cool? It's made to look like faux stone that's cut. Oh, that's just really cool. It's getting darker out, so my light is getting a little funny, but let me see if I, okay, if you were to wear it, that's what it would look like. And with this one on the bottom, you could probably double it up. But I'm not sure if you'd want that in the back of your neck. I mean, I guess if it laid flat, but that's a really neat piece. I'm not sure of the maker, but I'm just going to say $7 on that. It's very cool looking. Very cool. And I promised I wouldn't plunk the jewelry down, and I just did. Oopsie. All right. Um, oh. This is kind of a brass and an inlay bracelet, or maybe it's just painted that way. Let me have a close look. No, I think it is. You know, I think it's made of carved bone, and they went over and painted gold on the inside and gold around here. So it looks like inlay, but it's actually gold painted over carved stone, I mean carved bone. So that's neat. Why don't we say $4 for that? Ooh, some more pearly pearls. I love pearly pearls. Is it a three strand again? Oh, and some cute earrings stuck to it too. All right, D. Get off of there. Oh, that looks carnelian. Woohoo! All right. This, oh, this is one of those adorables. Okay, so, cute clasp. You hook it here, you wear the three, four strands, and they're five strands. So you've got like a creamy pearl, a little bit darker, silver, and then gold. And you can wear it with this on the side, or with this on the bottom. Cute, very sweet, nice shape. I think they're made of glass. Yes, they're made of glass, which is nice. Pretty glass. Let me measure this since it's probably a good idea. To let you know, it is a 15 inch, give or take. I'd say 16, 16 inches, five strands, vintage style, and we'll say $8. Okay, my son is chatting in the other room, not sure if it's coming through, but he probably forgot I was making a video. That's all right, he makes videos too. Don't forget to go check him out and say, hey, we, we're Blessed Bobble's friends. And we heard that you have a channel. He's had a channel for a long time. He's really good at what he does. And his name is Fusion Here. F-U-Z-I-O-N. Oh my gosh, is it S? No, it's Z. F-U-Z-I-O-N. H-E-R-E. -E. His name is Josh, so you could find him on there. Okay, so we have a fabric necklace on a cord. Connects like this. That's a funky monkey, huh? Feel, feel, yeah, it is elastic. I was going to say, it feels like elastic. So, wow. Um, did someone make it or did they buy it? I don't know what to make of this. Maybe, don't know. I'm going to say a dollar. Someone might love rocking that necklace. Okay, we have some art glass. Ooh, some nice metallic-y art glass. It's a very 
it's like a purpley pink in the background and a copper swirl and look at the beads there's some clear light pink some purple rollo chains in great shape do we have a name we don't have a name but that's okay nice necklace very pretty pretty I should have got our necklace model out here so we could put it on. I'll take a measurement for you so you can see. I feel like I need to come down this way. Yes, clean up a little bit. All right, let's take a measurement of this. This is a pretty one. It measures 20 inches with the full extension. If you're doing it without the extension, it's 18. So you have 18 and 20 inches. Art glass necklace will say $6. And the silver tone is in great shape. Ooh, what is this? Look at how pretty these red beads are. This is all wood. Little button sort of clasp. This feels like silky cord. And the beads are in really nice shape. The colors are great. Look how they put the beads in between the wooden beads in between the red wooden beads. That's a pretty one. Oh, how about some jewelry sounds? Gotta love the jewelry sounds. So that's neat. Um, you know, boho type piece, but I love the statement with the big red color pop like that. I'm going to say $5 on that. I think it's a very wearable piece for sure. Okay, let's move on. Huh, we have some kind of a stone on a cord. Silver tone clasp. It's the older spring ring. Let's see if we have sterling findings. Not that I'm seeing. That's a nice very nice stone. This does look kind of sterling. This looks like what was on those frog earrings that we opened in the last bag. wonder if it goes with them. Alrighty, we have a hitchhiker. Get out of here. It is not magneting. This is magneting for the spring ring. So I don't know if it's sterling. Sorry about that. But this is, I'm sure it's a quartz. Actually, it's going all the way to jade. Miss Prissy, you're making a liar of me. So that's where it's testing. If you like that, you're welcome to that for $3. Nice looking stone. Ooh, another different necklace. Very different. Okay, we are going to figure this out. Oh, we have a name first. Let's look at that. Okay, can you see it? I can't. Do I have it upside down? Oh my gosh, I was holding the other label upside down on that other necklace I kept asking help for. It says Z-Z-A-N, so Zan. And she told me that I was holding it upside down and just about cracked up. Well, if you don't know what it says and you can't read it, then you probably aren't going to know how to, which way to hold it. All right, how does this go? Okay, so this is the necklace and then that's the long Y drop. Maybe, maybe it goes like this, but then what's happening here? All right, I guess it has good intentions. Yeah, it looks pretty if you'd get it straightened out, but I'm not sure. It's in great shape, never worn, with the hook clasp on it. So I'm going to say a dollar on that. Because I'm not sure if I'm not figuring it out right or if it's just kind of wonky. If it's a wicky wonky, oh, look, another butterfly. The 
it's going to fly away into our craft jar. Fly away, butterfly. Okay. Okay, this is a cool piece. Hmm. Oh, boy. That's a very cool piece. Let's see if I can get it figured out. Oh, nice. Okay. So this probably goes like that. Oh, that's neat. So these feel, they feel like, like a clay bead to me. But I love the look of this. Very tribal look to it. It's got some silver beads here. The cone. Then it goes this way with the beads. The flat beads. Silver tone. And then this is what you would see at the bottom. Sorry, yeah. This is what you'd see at the bottom. You saw it. All right, I want to test with the magnet. It does magnet slightly. Maybe it has copper underneath. So that's a really pretty piece. I'd say seven on this. I like those beads. And I think somebody just had a crash in the kitchen. Okay, what are these? I've been looking at these, not knowing what they are. Wow. Oh my. Oh wow. Okay, here's our other one to this. Here's our other giant clip-on that's gold. So these, I will say, a dollar. And those can go over there. These are very interesting looking. There's a little bit of fuzzy, like wood stuff on them. I think that's acrylic. That's a nice look. And they are also clip-ons. We'll say $3. Those are nice looking. This looks like it's one of these, but it broke. So we'll put it aside for a memento. And this just popped off of here. We do have a name. Dream Plus Clip-On. I would tend to believe that's right because there are clip-ons. So this just has to be reattached there. If somebody likes that and wants to reattach, you can have that for a dollar. Too big for our craft jar. There's a pretty bracelet with a toggle. Probably faux pearl. We'll do our little test. Yeah, they're sliding easily, so they're not real pearls. But I like the crystals in between. They're light pink. The toggle is very pretty. Nicely done. Nicely done there, too. It does have a sterling look, but I don't know. Yeah, I don't, I don't think it is. So that's a cutie. I'd say $2 for that. Some nice glass beads on there. Lots of bracelets, huh? Oh, look at this. I love these, like, zebra print earrings. And this is all glass. Pierced earring. With this whatever type of back. They do look very sterling, but they are not. Oh, that's pretty, though. I love the glass beads. So, wait for your mate. Oh, yeah, and look, we have this other sort of spirally one, too. So, I think we have a lot of that theme maybe going on in this bag. I gotta wonder how they put the bags together. Like, did they have a bunch of stuff in the store that was a certain theme that went together? Who knows? They're doing a great job, though. Okay, let's see. This is a very pretty piece. Got to fiddle with it a bit to get it. Oh, wow, it has the fold-over clasp. So 
That's okay, baby. We're being patient with you because you've been around a little while and you deserve it. Let's unclip it, then we'll do it. I think that's the issue. That is a great looking necklace. You know? I love the design, the black enamel. Not seeing any marks. Oops. Clasp works well. And that's what it looks like close up in the back. Maybe it's, um, what's that other metal that's not sterling? I'm sorry, I'm just having like brain lag today. I can't think of, think of my words. And I just got the word and then lost it again. Anyway, this necklace is very wearable. It's really pretty. What a nice classic look, huh? you're dressing up with like a suit or something or whatever and it's measuring about 15 inches probably 16 I would say a 16 inch vintage look for sure and I would say let's do 10 on this nice weight to it too Okay, I've been avoiding this because I can't think of the name of this right now. Oh, hematite. Hematite stone. Shouldn't do a video when you have the brain cramp. Carol, Carol for Eva Graham. Hi, Carol for Eva Graham. You did a nice job on the earrings. They're orange, they're kind of brown on the back. Um, they are pierced. They've never been worn, nice and clean. So if you like the orange look, we'll say $2 on these. Lots of orangey color. Oh, wow. Statement necklace coming up. This has a hook clasp that's in brass. And, hmm, not sure what that is. I feel like that's stone. I feel like this is made to look like stone. And then you have the coconut discs. But it's an older piece. Brass findings. Nice looking bronzy beads on the end. That's pretty. Let's see if they test us anything. Could be like um, a ceramic bead. It's made to look like stone, but nonetheless, it's a nice looking necklace. And I would say $4 on the statement piece. Ooh, that's a lively one, huh? It's on a cord. It's just tied. It might do that self-tightening, but I don't want to mess with it. Yeah, it might just be tied. It might do the self-tightening. Don't know. But that's pretty. If someone likes that for a dollar. We have some little beads with an African-style type bead on the front. And a lobster. Not a lobster. A barrel clasp. I'm going to put that in craft because it's got some nice glass beads. Pink and blue. And it's going to go off with those butterflies. So look at this ring. Not sure what it's made of. Feels like very light wood. And it looks like a crocodile. It is measuring. Eight and a half. I think you're supposed to go with the top. So eight and a half cool lightweight ring will say a dollar there's another one too nice soft wood all carved out and it's eight and a quarter a dollar on the wooden ring okay what are you it's a little earring a 
looks like um, a carousel horse, right? The tail is not broken. It has all the paint there. Well, that's interesting. We have to see what goes on with that. We have this very interesting earring. I'm trying to figure out if it's old or if it's trying to look old. It's on like a black metal. But then again, this is brass, so it's darker. There's a lot going on. I mean, look at this hinge right here. And then you've got this in the middle. This shell behind this stone. That's a lot. It's a lot of work. It's very pretty. It's a very um, orange kind of a stone in there. And this one's sort of opening at the top. So shell earrings. I'm going to say they're older. Made of brass. I'm sure we have the other one. Oh, and here's our broken wooden earring here. So I think I'll just toss these out. It's too bad someone maybe could use that clip, but there has to be a point where you just say that's enough and retire the poor thing, you know? Oh, a cute pearl, but it's all like boiled. Or somebody boiled it for goodness sakes. So let's have a look. You always want to look at your backs. I have found, you know, several sterling backs that then I can use them, clean them up, use them on my own earrings. Or even sometimes actually 14 karat gold on the back. And rather than toss it out, it's good to have. Here's our other broken piece, so down it goes. All right, let's go back to this carnelian looking earring because it really took my heart when I saw it. Isn't it pretty? Let's see how my light's doing. Maybe we'll bring this guy over here. That's a little better. So it looks to be carnelian, pierced. Let's hope that's some sterling. Well, if it is, then I get to wear them and I don't sell them, so maybe you're hoping it's not. Let's see. Hmm. All right, so if it's this orangey color with the swirlies in it, and it's not registering, well, it's almost registering in the quartz amethyst, which would be the carnelian, right? I think I'm forgetting if it's garnet that measures the... Okay, anyway, it's a beauty. It's got a gold ball there, another one of these stones. And let's see if it's at all magnet. No. So we might have a nice sterling certainly deserves to be with all those stones or beauties. I'm not seeing a mark, but this is worth a test once we find the other one. It's a nice looking earring for sure. Okay, what did I pass by? Oh, this one's got a name too. M-E something? M-E to we, me to we, me to we, say that 10 times fast, me to we, me to we, me. <laughs> oh, I have fun all by myself, don't I? So you guys can't talk back to me because I'm recording, so I can gab on for an hour and it's, it's all right. <laughs> all right, let's see. It says something hashtag on the back. And it's got some seed beads, gold tone. Whoops. Not even in the camera. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with that. I think maybe craft it. It's got some good components in there for the craft jar. Ooh, look at this guy. He is being loud. Pretty earring that's attached. Can we bend it just a little teeny bit? Or I could take this little back off. There you go. Oh, hematite. Yeah. 
So that's so cute. But it's a stretch bracelet. Look at how that would hang down. With the little prong sets, but it's not stretching anymore. Aww. I love the colors. All right, you know where it's going. Crafty craft. Into the craft jar. All right, where are we? We've got some nice earrings waiting for the other one. Oh, that's a coolie cool. Another stone. Waiting for its mate. That one. Oh, this is cute. Sort of a cascady cluster with some AB crystals and some pearls. These look like they might be real. They are. They are real pearls. Oh, it's so cute. I just love all this stuff. It's so fun to explore, to find all these new styles and pieces. Not that this is a new style and piece, but just every single one of them is so pretty and has something special about it. That's going on our board. Another butterfly. I mean, I can't fill the jar with butterflies. So let's wait on this one. Okay. Oh, I see what our earrings go to. This pendant. That's for sure. So we've got some kind of a set going on. By the way, thank you so much for your comments and for your purchases. It's really fun to talk to you guys in the emails, just to get to know you. And the comments have been great. Oh my gosh, this is a great piece. Wowzy. Look at this abalone, like butterfly. Whoa, look at all the shells. Glass pearls, there's a little wire sticking out. That's got to be taken care of. Silver tone clasp. Oh, and they even finished it with the shell. Very nicely done. Clippy clap at the end. Wow, that's a beauty. And the back is just as pretty. I was going to say the legs maybe move. So this is all shells and everything. Why don't we say $7 for that? Pretty pretty. It's pretty pretty. So I was saying thank you for your comments. And hitting 1,000 subscribers was so exciting. The giveaway is on the last video. And I'll be doing giveaways all through my YouTubing life. So, so love doing those. So watch the last video for the giveaway. There's a horse on this one. Cute. It's like a brass. And I like how the, the tail and the feet are colored too. So we have this station bead necklace with a name. Says Loft. And Taylor Loft. It's got some pearls, silvery, creamy, disco ball. They're all there on a silver tone chain. Very pretty, huh? Look at that if you wore it this way. I'm always doubling the chain because I think it's a cute look. So for the loft, I'm going to say $7. Some nice pearls there for sure. Toggle bracelet. Looks like some rose quartz on there. Wow, look at all the flowers. Kind of want to unhook this. There we go. Isn't that so cute? A lot of stones in there are beads, little glass beads, all twisted around to make all these flowers. And they have a name Cookie Lee, right? Like Cookie Lee. That's a nice, nice bracelet. I bet you that's rose quartz. 
Yeah, it definitely is. So glass beads and rose quartz. I don't see anything missing. But I am looking very quickly. But I'm looking at all these marquee cut places. I don't see anything missing. It seems to be in brass. Give a measurement. And it could hook here, which would make it seven and a quarter. Or if you hooked it here, would make it eight inches. So seven and a quarter to eight inches on the Cookie Lee bracelet. And I'm going to ask 15. I think it's nice. Cookie Lee is a nice name. And it is marked Cookie Lee with the tag. So that's great. Love it, love it, love it. Okay. Oh, I think we have our other earring. And I'll have to finish up quick because I don't think I'm going to get through this whole bag. <gasps> Wait, is this the pendant? No. What a, That would have made a great pendant, though. Look. Wouldn't that have? Not bad. I mean, it is an earring. You don't want to stick yourself, but that could have been. Not that far-fetched. All right, so how am I going to get this undone? Oh, I'm sure if I just find that little spot in there, it should come right out. So I was saying, email me at capecodebaygirl at gmail.com and give me the title of the video if you wanted to buy something, the um, description of the pieces, the timestamps, and the prices that I gave. So this is sad because this piece is missing from this pair of earrings. So we had all this pretty going on, but they're going to go to the craft jar because that one piece, and it's probably somewhere around in here, but it would still have to be repaired. So, bye guys. Thank you. Have fun at the jewelry hospital. Okay, this is... They look like poured glass beads, like poured into a mold. This looks like it might be carved bone. And these are very pearlescent color beads in between. Um... Hmm. We have these different designs. It's an interesting necklace with some glass sort of amber color. I don't see a clasp anywhere, so maybe it just goes right over the neck. And you know, I don't know if I could sell this because it kind of catches on things. I think it would be better off to use all the components in the craft jar. It's a great looking piece, but I just feel like it would be uncomfortable on a person. And I don't want someone to have their hopes up and then be disappointed. So, in our jewelry jar, hospital. Okay, it's looking like a Chico's. It's not marked. But it does have that look. Actually, Chico's would probably put a lot more detail than this, but it is pretty. Gold tone with the red ball here, probably acrylic. And I would say a dollar on that. Hmm, this looks like a choker. It's got glass beads running along, different colors. Red, pink, yellow, a brass chain. With the jewel on the end. Lobster clasp. Either has age to it or looks wants to look like it does. So I do think it's a choker. And instead of me buttoning it up, let me measure it. Okay, this is about, let's see if you hook it right to there and right to there. I'd say 13 inches. So we have a beaded choker, 13 inches, and I'll say a dollar. We have another stone bracelet. We have several statement pieces here. We have this guy, not great quality. So I think I'm going to 
pass on that. It's just not very good quality. This looks like maybe a wrap bracelet. Is that signed? No, let's see. RMN on the wrap bracelet. It um, has some pearls and some clear rhinestones. I always get like in a tizzy trying to figure these out, but there we go. Pearls, silver tone, has the name, has the, I think you call them roundels. So we'll say five on that. Ooh, we found our other earring that has this mustard color stones on a silver tone chain and I would say two dollars on these. Let's see if they say sterling they look like it but it takes a lot of time to look over every little thing and yes these are sterling. Sterling silver so let me see if this part would be too Magnet's a little bit, but I had something the other day, magnet, and it was sterling. So why don't we just find out quick if the other part of the chain is also sterling. And then we'll know. We'll know that we know that we know. Hmm, I might even know just, just with the testing, try not to wiggle you guys around. I think this is not sterling on the chain and I don't like to scratch things. But we have sterling posts, so hope you guys don't mind if I go up to four dollars on these since we've got sterling, okay? Alrighty. I think we had that already. So this is a pearly type necklace with a barrel clasp. It's not a choker, it's a little bit longer than that. So, I don't know. Is someone going to be interested in that? Let's see. If I can rub them together or not. I think they're kind of plasticky. I just don't know if I want to go through giving a price and then it goes nowhere. And then I have to carry it around for a week or two, you know? Sometimes it gets to be too much for certain things. And I have to say, the things I think would sell don't, and the things I think won't sell, sometimes they really do, so. I like to give a price for everything if I can, but sometimes some things just gotta go. All right, let's see what you are. Feels like brass. And look at the glass on there. That's wild, and it has brass in between the two pieces of glass. That's very different. Very, very long. I have no idea what to make of this. Except that it's cool. So you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of these glass pieces on the very long necklace. Let's say four dollars. Okay, this guy says love birds. Aw, cute. But look at the stones on there. Those are pretty. Very pretty. Brass type of a chain with the teal color stone on the end. You see that? really pretty. They look a lot like the one that we have here waiting. But I'm going to say that wouldn't go because that's much much larger. The earring is much larger and the earring is gold tone, whereas this is sort of a brass tone. So that's a cutie. It has some nice beads on it. What do you think? Craft jar for those beads? I think so. I think it would add a nice pop of color for someone to craft with that. Nothing wrong with the necklace, but 
oh, look at this clip on. It has like a very polished stone, gray, like a, hmm, like a yellowish tan. And it looks like these are sterling. Have a looky see. Yeah, they're not having any mark on them. So maybe not, but we'll see what comes of the other one. All right, I did find the second little coconut earring, and I just think that's going to go to craft because someone could use the earring post, maybe. I'll put that in there. We have another one of those. Actually, this is not bone. This is more of like, like a marble. And then they painted the gold on it. Hmm. I think I'll just throw this in with the other one. Someone buys the other bracelet, I'll throw this in with it too. Uh, yeah, it's over there somewhere. So we'll do that. We have some little tiny pierced earrings. And I did see the other one. I don't know what that stone would be. But I'm going to take the backs off. And check out the post. They're nice, they're vintage. I like how they're made. But I'm gonna put them in craft so someone can use that. All right, a brooch. Very bright brooch here with different blue. This is like an aqua. There's some very royal blue, some teal blue. Then the outer ones are almost like an emerald green. That's a lot of nice colors together on a gold tone brooch. We'll say four dollars for that. Here's our other zebra earring. So cute, pierced earrings, glass beads. We'll do four dollars. Okay, I know we saw one of these. So we've got these. I hope I'm saying it right, hematite, because there's two eight <laughs> two eight stones that I always mix up hematite um marcasite yeah but this is hematite hematite stone very bright red glass and that looks like a flower that's just opening and dropping they're cute on both of them that's a nice pair of earrings with a gold color tone um pierce hooks I'm not seeing a name. They do feel older to me. Let's see if this is glass. It is glass. So that's a pretty pair. With the gold tone. Nice contrast. I'm going to say $3 on those. I'm going to throw those backs away. So we've got a hematite magnetic clasp. What's magnet? Is this stone magnetic? Because this was stuck to it like it's magnetic. It's a stretch bracelet. And I'm feeling like I would put it in the craft jar. So there it goes. Oh, that's a beautiful color stone. Oh boy. Looks like sterling silver to me too. Looks like a bunch of... Um, a bunch of jade with maybe sterling in between. This is a nice piece. If I'm wrong about the silver, I'll be shocked because it really looks like it deserves it. I'm not seeing it yet. But that's okay. Not everything has to be. Nice stone, so. I'll get Missy Prissy over here and see what she says about them. Mm-hmm. 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 Absolutely. Okay, that's nice. Next test, magnet. But we know the spring ring is going to magnet because there's a spring in it that they don't make out of sterling. 
they make it out of metal and it always magnets but I don't know it's not enough to be concerned about whether it's sterling or not as far as a price it either has a really good sterling plating or the beads in between are all sterling but I'm gonna say with all those beautiful jade beads we'll do 18 on this one before I clasped it, I should have got a measurement. But we'll get one now. We can get one now. Oh. Alright, I better check that clasp, make sure it's okay, because either I didn't clasp it well or it just came undone. So that is 18 inches on the necklace. And let's see about this clasp. Yeah, it works. It just needed a little pushing back. So you put it through and then you push it back through and it'll stay. But just be aware that you have to do that. Lots of jade. I'm not going to try to test those. They're too much in between. Don't want to bother the pretty jewelry. Okay. We have some vintage pearls, faux pearls. They're still in pretty good shape with the graduated. Actually, no, they're peeling off here. But this is the example I was trying to tell you that if you take all this coating off, you'd have some really cool glass beads. And there are people that are doing that. So that's an option. The back of the clasp says Japan, and the clasp is cute, so I'm not sure. Oh, does it even work? No, the clasp is broken, so the whole entire thing is going to have to be a craft. I want to have a look at our crafter, so let's look at So, I wanted to let you know if you're new here that I ship in plastic jars and not glass. So you're not paying for glass, you're just paying for the jewelry. They're pretty strong and they ship very well. I'll cover them with some bubble wrap and then I'll put um, some tape over the top. So I'll pack it good. And I think it's really fun through the video to see what you're gonna get in the craft jar. People seem to be really enjoying that, so I am too. We have a pair of shell earrings, and I'm not going to take the time to see if they're sterling. They do need some cleaning, so I'm going to say I will clean them up, but I'll say $2 on these and I'll give them a clean. Here's our other little copper, hammered copper earring. You know, what do I do with that? Again, if the posts are sterling, someone can redo them. Or maybe someone likes that look. That's cool too. But they're going to go and craft for now. For now, for they're going to go and craft. Oh, we have our other horse earring. That's sweet. Very sweet. I do like the two-dimensional figures that they are. But they're so lightweight. Um, I think I'll put them in craft. Okay, craft, you are getting a lot of, oh, cutie baby. You're getting a lot of stuff in there today. This reminds me of the ones that we're waiting on. Let's see if the necklace shows up, but it has a stone missing in the middle. They're so cute. I'm not going to throw them in craft because I bet you that pink stone might be in the bag. And these are worth fixing for sure. So over there you go. Oh, another pair like this, look, of the screw back earrings with that nice polished stone on there. This one's like a greenish, a deep teal and an olive green. Did we figure out if these were stop with the hitchhiking? I can't remember on the other ones. There's so much jewelry, you guys, that there's no way I can possibly remember 
all these things that I'm looking at and going through. That's why your timestamps and the name of the video is so important because you would think when you're watching the video that I'm sitting right here with you. And I'm glad that it does feel like that, but I've probably moved on to another bag of jewelry by then, and this is like a blur to me. So do let me know the timestamps. You've been great about that. So we have a pair of screwbacks that are glass or some kind of a, probably a quartz. Really pretty colors, and we're going to say $2 on those. It's a piece of coconut shell earring. Um, the other glittery guy. And the other pearl earring. So those aren't much to write home. What are you? Look at this little guy. What is he doing? It looks like he's saying, <laughs> Oh my gosh, I'm going to crack myself up. He looks like he's saying, Hey dude, what's happening? What's going on, man? I mean, he looks like he's trying to be cool or something. It's cute though. It, it's probably a Mexican sort of outfit with the sombrero. It's adorable. I'm loving that. It's adorable. <laughs> oh, you gotta have fun. Okay, we've got the other horsey earring. Not sure what to do with those. I hate to throw that much in the craft jar. Or I could do. Let's start a second one because we've got to put this stuff in there. So we've got the horses, this coconut earring. We've got what else? These pearl earrings. Where's the other sparkly earring like that? Yeah, we'll just start a second one because we're going to need it. And we'll fly the butterfly into there. We will put these beads in here. We've got another little beaded bracelet. This looks like a statement piece that's seen better days. It's on a Rolo chain. So I don't know. That might fill up our jar. Here's our other little dude, but it's a girl. Oh my goodness. That's so cute. I bet you were the guy and the girl. That's a pretty bracelet. Okay, we're getting all in 10 different directions. I like those beads. I like the pearlescence. I like the nice thick stretch and the roundels. And nothing wrong with it, but We'll put it in the craft jar so someone can have fun. And you know what? I'm going to put the stone bracelet in the craft jar, too. We've got white stones and some silver color into this craft jar. So we've got two craft jars going. I'm going to put this in there, too. Blue beads. What else? Oh, my. Look at this, a flying saucer type earring. That's wild. Pretty wild. There's some very interesting things in here. Oh, we have another cherry bracelet. Lucite cherry. I think these sell really good. I'm going to keep one of them to see how it does on eBay. And for those that want to know what my eBay store is, it's called Cape Cod Attic Treasures like up in your attic, not as an addict of jewelry, <laughs> although that is debatable. So it's Cape Cod Attic Treasures on eBay, and there's, there'll be a link in the description of the video. I'm just going to see how this goes on there, because I think these cherry lucite bracelets do very well. So that's for me. This is going to go in some other craft jar somewhere. Somewhere. Over the rainbow. That's a beautiful butterfly. We had one a couple weeks ago that was on sterling silver. I wonder if this is gold over sterling. Does it say something? The other one didn't say anything, but it certainly was on sterling silver. 
So I don't know what this one. Looks like Mother Pearl and some beads there that feel very lightweight. I'm sure they're made of some natural material. Maybe they're even a type of a coral. I don't know. Barrel clasp. That's a pretty one. I'm going to say 12, and I'm not going to bother testing it because I don't want to scratch it. So, okay, we have a pearl. Oh, I might even just hurry up and get through this box. So we have this guy, but it looks really yucky there. Oh, that's pretty too. Maybe I can clean it. Not sure. It's got some shells and it's cute, but I don't know. We have this guy. It's a Premier Designs with clusters of all kinds of pearls and Aurora Borealis. If these are real. Mm, yes, they are. So that's got a lot of nice materials. Nothing wrong with that necklace. Really pretty one. But I'm feeling like, even though it's a Premier Designs, that somebody that crafts might love the materials. And you know what? If you don't want to craft with it and you want to keep the necklace, it's your stuff once you buy it, so... That's up to you, dudes. Ooh, I found our other... Spaceman Martian earrings. Those are fun. Really fun. I have no idea what these would go for. So I'm going to say 15, just in case there's something special. And then you guys can counter if you think that's a silly price. But I think they're cool. Here's the necklace to the earring that we saw. I knew I didn't want to craft that earring. I knew it was going to be worth it. See? I do know a little thing or two now and then. Pink stones in the middle. Earring, necklace to match. But again, I still have to find the little pink stone that goes in there. But that's a cute set. I would think it would be nice to put that on a different chain as well. You know? So maybe, now I'm having change of heart, maybe I should put this in the craft jar so someone can fix this up and have a stunning vintage set. And if I find that pink stone, I promise you, what I do at the end of the bag is I pour out all the little bits that are in it, and I put them in a little tiny bag, and I label it. And I will label it 38 plus pounds, bag number three. So I save all the little pieces just in case we need them later. Oh my. I do remember seeing this piece in the picture. There's not much that you can see in the pictures when you're looking at these auctions, but I did see some coral, and I wondered about this. And it is coral. Isn't that cool? So it's got all these stones all the way around, and it even has a maker. It's like a little sort of a heart-shaped tag hanging. Oh, I gotta get a wipey for my hands. Not sure about the tag. There's nothing on it. Let me unbutton this. Okay. The clasp. It's such a small clasp for a big necklace. It does have a sterling... Um, type of patina to it, but it could be plated. It's not magneting. It may be sterling. I mean, with all that coral, it should be. But I can't be sure. It's not marked. I'd say it's probably plated. Yeah. Probably plated. If it is sterling, great for you, but it's probably plated. So there's all this coral. What a neat necklace. Doesn't look like they're dyed to me. Let me show you really close up. Hopefully in good light. So I'm not seeing any white areas. I mean, look how really rich red that is. But I haven't been at this a long, long time, so they could be dyed. 
In my opinion, they don't appear to be. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, let me give this a measurement and see what you guys think about a price on this. It is 20, it's 21 inches. Well, it could go from 18 to 22, depending on where you clasp it. That's quite a lot of nice red coral. Why don't we say 35 on that? Beautiful, rich color, that's for sure. So see what you think. Let me know. Send the email. I am going to try to maybe get through this bag quick. Um, this is a cute bracelet. Buckles like that with a lobster clasp. Very sparkly, but they're plastic. And I'm thinking that might go in our, in our jar. Maybe I'll put it on the top of this one because I like to stuff them over. So that's our first jar. These might be amethysts. Let's see. These are going right up in the jade area too, but let me see. It's probably a magnet. No, it's a stretchy. And it's either, I don't know if jade gets purple. I'm going to say they're amethyst. Let me show you them nice and close. Pull this light over or something. We need more light. There we go. So that's what they look like. It does have a nice stretch. And I'm going to say $6 for that. We have a bronzy colored necklace, beaded necklace with the lobster clasp. And some roundels and some pearls. I would say two dollars on that. Nice crystally crystal beads. I don't don't think they're glass. Yes, they are glass. They just have like a silver coating on them. But that's going to go in our craft jar because the stretch isn't that great. Wow. That's a cute pearl type of an earring. I'll have to check that out. And that's a funky monkey bracelet. Green enamel and silver tone. That would look really pretty on actually. It just has that regular hook clasp, which makes life a lot easier when you're putting it on, doesn't it? It's eight inches. Oh, that's a cutie. I'm going to say $6 on that. It's a cutie cutie. We have, do we have a wide drop? Ooh, we have a whole big crystal piece on this necklace. So you've got this rock crystal and some pearls and some pink beads and some rose gold tone. It is worn a bit when you get to the end. Sort of a milky colored um, glass bead. And this is definitely testing. Oopsie, don't knock over the craft jar. We don't want anything to be missing. So this big gem on here is testing right in the um, rock crystal. So what that means is that it's a piece of quartz, but it's clear. And so people call it rock crystal. At least that's what I learned. So rock crystal, and let's see if these are pearls. They are. That's a nice necklace. The metal is a little teeny bit worn though. So maybe you can repurpose it or maybe wear it like it is. It's pretty. I'm gonna say 15 for that. Ooh, that's gorgeous. That is gorgeous. Is this a clasp? Nope, it's not. Is this a clasp? Yes. Magnetic clasp. 
it's a nice strong one. You don't want one that's going to come undone. So this is beautiful. I like that a lot. That's a lot of sparkle. A lot of color. Let's get a measurement. Because I think someone is in love with this one. It has some gray smoky, yellowish, and then a very sort of Aurora Borealis finish on that. So it's got three different colors. It's about, it's a little more than 16 inches. I'd say 17. And then you have this fun little bead on the front. I like that. I'm going to say, oh gosh, I mean, it's so pretty. I think it's worth $20. I really do. Very nice. And we do have to pay the bills, so. Oh, here's another turquoise color bracelet. This one has a lobster clasp and a key on the end. Is that enamel? No, this one feels like sort of leather that's been braided in with the metal. That makes sense. It's pretty cool. Maybe someone knows the brand with that key on it. Or maybe that's just a nice extra little, oh wait a minute, there's a name. We have a name, it says, oh boy. Oh, it's a Leah Sophia. Leah Sophia, Leah Sophia. Eight inches on the Leah Sophia. Excellent condition. Doesn't look like it was worn. And there's the name right there. So I have no idea what these go for. I'm winging it, guys. 15. Oh, I like that. Like it a lot. It's a faux turquoise, but it does feel like a stone. That's a fun stretchy bracelet. Stretch is in great shape. That's a nice pop of color. Let me see if that's stone. I think it is. It's probably a dyed halolite. And I'm not sure if you need a measurement with a stretch, but it sits at two and three quarters. And I'll say four dollars on that. Here's another one. This one's even heavier. Many more stones on this one, or much more weight of stones. Pretty, huh? Probably how light. Turquoise imitation. Great stretch on it. Six dollars. We have a beautiful baby. Vintage piece. Clips on again right here. The pearls feel nice. It's a nice faux pearl. There's a little bit of scratch to them, so I don't know. They're not knotted, though. I think they might be just a really great imitation pearl. Nice piece. Nice clasp, for sure. I don't know. I mean, you guys know I can use these vintage pieces for my own stuff, but I want to offer it to you, too. So I would say 16 on this. If not, I will find a use for it. Oh, look. No, the bracelet that matches it. What are we going to do now? We have the necklace, the earrings, the bracelet all matching. I guess you're going to have to go in there. Goodbye, my love. It's so beautiful. Purple, too. It's hard to find purple. While we're at it, why don't we put this in there? Just unbutton this. Put you in there and... Wow, what a fun craft jar this time. Lots of goodies. We'll put the other coconut earring in there. We've got this pretty baby, this sparkly baby. This should probably go with that necklace. There's not much of a stretch on it though. Lots of sparkly beads. This looks like that other necklace I got where it is pearls. Where all the pearls were really 
they, they just looked different. They had different opaqueness to them. That's the only way I could explain it before. But yeah, these are all real pearls. So why don't we do, because these probably are too. Why don't we do these real pearl and very crystally bracelets that could use a little bit of new stretch on them. We'll do them both for 12. And I have to remember to keep those together. Well, you guys will give me the timestamp and description anyway, so I'll be able to get it together. So here's a nice turquoise dotted pendant on a black chain. I would think this goes maybe down here on the cording, but it looks like it definitely goes together with this coloring. That's a great looking necklace. Oh, it's a little bit mashed right there on that mesh part. Could probably be fixed, but let me make sure it's not gonna be like sticking someone. No, it wouldn't. Just a little mashed. That's a great piece. I don't want to just chuck it out in some new condition, except for that little bend. We'll do five on that. We're almost there, guys. What is this? I don't know. It's enamel. It's heavy duty. Um, key thing? Or probably a necklace pendant. Very heavy. Oh, we found our other earring for that. Wah, wah, wah. <laughs> Remember in the movies in the old days where they wanted you to feel like something was spinning out of control and they did that thing on the screen? Uh, anyway, these are very cute. I like them. I like the whole texture going on in the swirlies. What a cute, cute look. Anytime, winter or summer, with a white blouse, black blouse. I like those for six. Here's our other vintagey pearl that I might have to check out because there's a little bit of color going on. Oop. Somebody had a bow earring. There's the other bow. Some broken sticks. Let's see what else. Oh, we finished the bag. I really didn't think we would. I know the video is going to run a little bit long, but I'm going to look for that, that little pink gemstone. There is nothing in the bottom of this. Yes, there is. There's one little gem, but there's usually quite a lot of little gems. But this only has this teeny tiny one. Wow, where's our little pink gem? I'm going to add that to the craft jar. All right, we've got this earring. Ooh, we have the other carnelian type earring. These are gorgeous. These are really gorgeous. They're heavy. Mm. Do I want to make sure if these are sterling? They are so nice. I guess because it has a tiger's eye, carnelian, and everything. And if that's sterling right there, that would be nice, so we'll check that quick. This looks like a clip-on. Ooh, look at these tiger's eye little babies. That's nice. I find that the older tiger's eye are very beautiful as compared to, you know, today when they just make them quicker. So they must have gone on some little earring wires and Gosh, I hope I've been in camera because it's hard to tell sometimes. Tiger's eye. What do we do with these? Um, craft jar, I guess. Nice item in the craft jar. I feel like this one got all the pearls. So I'm going to put the tiger's eye in here. And we have... Oh, that's cool. It has a little shell and all kinds of things inside but it's acrylic we have our little mexican guys um our bow tie earrings i'll put those in this one Ooh, what are you okay this looks like something special 
Look at the clasp. It's the older, really older lobster claw. And I bet you that says Monet or something on it. It does. Hey, I'm getting better, huh? So this is a really beautiful blue beaded necklace with the Monet name on it, and it is knotted in between. Let me see if maybe they test us something. It's hard to go fast on these videos because I don't want to miss anything. I'm going to hold that because I like it. I'm going to hold on to these because I like them. And with all this hard work I'm doing, I think I get to say that once in a while. Oh, okay. We have a glass pendant. Beautiful. Really pretty. Um, let's see. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. We'll put it in this one. This looks like a sterling ring. Look at those beautiful roses. This has to be really pretty. Every time I try to finish the craft jars, we come across something really cool that I need to look at. This is a beautiful ring. Um, it's really hard when it's very textured inside to know if it's signed. So I'm going to go ahead and quickly test this and bring you in and finish up here. It does appear to be sterling the way that it's coming off on the stone. And why don't I just do these while we're at it? So the ring is here. This little piece. Oh, I really think so. I think it is sterling. Let me have a look in there. Mm, I really do. And we'll do the, the earring wire. Just a little bit. I try to be very careful with this. And also, don't forget when you are testing, that if something's older, you got to think about the patina on the outside because that can give you a reading that it's not sterling when it is. All right, so we've got the earrings. This bead is here. Earring wire is here and the ring is here. Oops, I meant to bring you even closer. Turn the bottle carefully because sometimes it goes boink and a drop of it comes out. So we are turning very blue on all of them. Yep, our earring wire, earring beads, and the ring. That's wonderful. Really nice, nice things. Very nice. Oops, I forgot that I was in your face when I'm doing this. So what else am I forgetting to remind you about? Um, last video, we have some jewelry jars that you guys can buy. They are packed with 20 more pieces of jewelry from the turquoise and metallic videos. And they are $35 with 20 pieces of jewelry, all wearable. And they have a piece of sterling silver jewelry in there too. And that equals out to like $1.75 for each piece of jewelry. So they're all resellable, wearable pieces. If you want to check out that last video. Okay. The Sterling Carnelian. I'm sorry, I have to keep these. Because I can only wear Sterling. And I don't really have much, so I'm going to wear these for a little bit. Thank you for hanging with me on testing that out. And this is so beautiful. Why are we having trouble? My camera is like not knowing with all this stuff what to focus on. Oh, it's the testing thing. So we know this is sterling. Oh, it's so pretty. How many things? You can't have that many things on your fingers. What's the matter, iPhone? What's the matter? You getting tired? Oh, 
my gosh, we're almost done two hours. Okay, let's do the size. This is about a six. And look at the roses, that's so pretty. I'm gonna say 18 on the sterling silver rose carved ring. Lovely, lovely. This looks like different stone beads. It's a bracelet with a lobster clasp, but the clasp needs fixing. This needs to be hooked back on there. There's some nice beads in there, so let's see which one should we put it in. How about this one? Okay. We've got, I thought I saw two of these. Yes, the other one is up on the board. So, wow, we haven't found our other sterling silver earring to go with that beautiful set. That's a bummer. I'm going to put these in here. I was really hoping to find those. This guy looks like carved bone. Maybe we'll put it on the board and wait for its mate. We do have this pendant and the earrings. If someone likes that green. Not seeing any marks. I don't think it's sterling, but they are lever back. And someone's welcome to this for $4. Um, we've got one more of these. And this. And these. Why don't I just put all these together and say $5 on the bangles. So I think that's it. I think we're done. This one didn't show up yet. Do I want to wait for it? I think maybe we should. It's a nice earring. And that one. So that's it. We'll wait for that one. So this is what we've got waiting for the mate. Because this is such a gorgeous sterling silver necklace with that older clasp. We want to wait for that other earring. I still do. And this beautiful set, maybe we'll find one as a pendant. Maybe we'll find the other earring. That's a cutie. So just a couple things, that's all, that we didn't get through. And this pendant, I feel like that movie where uh, the guy says, and that's all, and just one more. And then he keeps saying one more thing. She believed she could, so she did. She did, she crafted with it, that's what she did. And that goes on the top of there. All right, let's do this. I am going to, I am gonna put this cool seashell scene in the first jar and the second jar. Let's get a quick wait so you guys can know what they weigh. First one weighs 11.57. Second one, don't forget about the pearls in them and all the good stones, 10.59. And I would do $20 on the craft jars. Okay, that's that. Now the next video is gonna be all the sterling silver. You cannot believe how much sterling silver I got in the 20 plus pound box video that I did. This was all from that lot and I had put it aside and forgot to talk about it. So I am gonna make a video because I really want everybody to see how much sterling was in that box. It's phenomenal. Gorgeous pieces, make them available to you guys. Alrighty, that's it. Don't forget, subscribe, tell your friends, hit the bell. Pray for Sherry that she learns technology so she can put the intro and the outro and all of that stuff on the videos. Don't forget to email me at capecodebaygirl at gmail.com and leave all four of those things that I asked for in the description when you're asking for the jewelry that you like. So you know what I'm going to do now? I'm going to work on my thumbnail. And when you've seen the video and then you go back and see the thumbnail, you'll have some fond memories of all the things that we found together. 
in this jewelry box, in this jewelry jar, in this 38 pound Shop Goodwill bag, number three bag of jewelry. That's what I want to say. So thanks so much for being with me. I loved having you here. I'll see you next time at the Bobbles. Bye.